What's going on? I'm tired, that's all. It won't happen again and I'm so sorry. Why are you tired? Things at home are a bit strained. My son is being a complete pain and then there's my study I have to get through. Not enough sleep or food, I guess. How on earth can you care for patients when you can't even manage your own well-being? If there's something going on, this is the time to tell us. Your concentration's been pretty shaky since you started. Sleep deprivation. You're right, I should... Now, let's just to... cut the crap here. Do you have a solvent abuse problem? Why would you think that? We're not making any accusations. Well, you bought the petrol can to work. We could smell it on you yesterday. I work nights at a petrol station. It's the only way we can make ends meet at the moment. That doesn't explain the petrol can. It's not a crime to carry spare petrol in your car. What about sniffing the stuff? It doesn't matter what I say, does it? Of course it does. We want to hear your side of the story. I've already told you. The real side. Then believe what you want. If my employers are determined to think the worst of me, then they aren't the sort of employers I need. I'll finish out my shift as I'd hate to leave you in the lurch. I'll give the Bureau a call. Hopefully Janice hasn't been snapped up yet. It was like he could fix anything. Like when that patient got stuck in the hoist. Oh. <laughs> he had to rescue him. And cars, of course. Oh. Him and cars. It's a wonder he didn't end up a mechanic. <laughs> and he was good with people too. When you're an Ambo, you come across some pretty frightened people. He could calm them down in no time. And he was so good with kids. Mm. JJ adored him. And he'd do anything to help someone. I mean, I've lost count of the times so I've talked to Zero off with my problems. Never his. Not that he ever complained. <laughs> he probably couldn't get a word out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he could and did. He told me what I needed to hear, even if I didn't want to hear it. But he never made me feel like a dick for it, though. Even when I was being one. Sorry, I'm being one now. No, you're not. He was a good man. <laughs> what about the mistletoe affair? The what? Oh, no, I don't think we should go into that now. What the hell is Whatever it is, Mum. It's OK. <laughs> well, we had had a few break-ins at the hospital, so I was told to go through hours upon hours of deathly dull security footage. But before I found the thief, who should I find instead? Kissing Santa Claus at the back of the Ambo Bay. <laughs> no way. <laughs> the thing is, the only person who I'd seen in a Santa suit that day was Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you can imagine the conversation which followed. <laughs> no offence, but you are a little on the young side for me. <laughs> Janice has gone up north. Holiday. Rural practice, permanent position. Those two look all right. Must be better than the last one. Do you think Wendy's going to be okay? She's not our problem anymore. Is it? Yeah. To expand already. <sighs> Looking to replace. Wendy? Turns out she's a solvent abuser. <laughs> Maybe it's for the best then. How can you say that? She's got a problem. She needs help. Well, she's a nurse and she knows where to find an addiction clinic when she's ready. Yeah, but she so wanted this job to work out. Well, nothing's gonna work out until she wants it to work out. And you know as well as I do, there's nothing you can do to push her into that. Yeah, I guess you're right. With any luck, losing her job will have knocked a little sense into it. And we can defer Mr. Struthers and Miss Markle. So you'll be able to live without me for a week. Good riddance. The Red Cross are welcome to you. Mm. Hopefully everyone will get bored and start talking about someone else's public embarrassment. Politician is bound to get caught speeding or something. <laughs> Smart move, by the way. Rachel's. I think some time away will do you two wonders. Well, she's not going. Exactly. Sorry, I should have listened to you more. I've just got off the phone with a very kind drug and alcohol counsellor, Natalia, her name was. Well, I didn't ring anyone. Ruben must have decided to pass your... But even after I'd explained I've got three rat bags, a super-sized mortgage and a business, a petrol station that's on the verge of bankruptcy, she still didn't believe me. 
I guess she'd already had it drummed into her. I'm a solvent abuser. Wh whatever Ruben said, I'm sure he was only trying to help you. If he or you want to help, you can come down here and work the graveyard shift. Maybe then I can get a decent sleep. Well, why didn't you tell me about this in the first place? I never then we got the job. And I don't have it anymore, so things are back to how they should be. But now I know what your situation is. And if you want petrol, there's another station a couple of k's down the road. We're dry. I think I must have inhaled it all. Please, Wendy, let's see if we... Did I ask too nicely? I'm not serving you, you judgmental cow. Get lost.